everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay, apparently it didn't save my uh, file from last time, so I guess it's a good thing that I did it all in one day. Anyways, uh, in the last part, we finished Sonic's story. There was a lot of stuffs happening there. There was, like, space and lots of rings and lots of robots and bang, bang, and boom, boom, and stuff. And in this part, we will be starting Knuckles' playthrough, and as you can tell, I won't be showing the special stages at all in this one, because, well, they're exactly the same as they were when we played them as Sonic, and I don't really feel the need to show all of them again, because that would be fairly redundant. Like, I guess I could show them, but you don't really need to see them again, do you? Probably not. Let's just go ahead and say you don't. Alright, so... Uh, as you can tell, Knuckles can glide. That is, uh... His main gimmick. Or his main difference from Sonic, I guess. The main thing that separates the two of them is that Knuckles can glide and he has dreadlocks. So that's a thing. Unfortunately for me, Knuckles cannot glide while inside a special stage because that would be extremely broken. But come on, that would also be really cool. Anyways, um, other differences between the two of them. Uh, Knuckles can't really jump as high, and I don't think he can run quite as fast as Sonic either, which makes sense because, you know, Sonic is well known for running fast, and Knuckles just kind of isn't. He's known for being able to glide and climb things. That's another thing he can do. He can climb things. Yep. How did that hit me? That, that doesn't even make sense. But anyways, yeah, he can stick to walls by gliding at them, and he can climb them with his knuckles, I guess. I don't even know. Anyways, um... I, I don't even remember what I was about to say. Something about other differences between Sonic and Knuckles. That I can totally not think of at all right now. Oh, what the? How did I go backwards? I'm, I'm pretty sure I was facing the right way. I will see in editing. E? Oh, noes. Whatever shall you do. Uh, but yeah, he can also just kind of walk through, uh, breakable walls. Because, you know, he's Knuckles and is awesome and can just kind of punch things. Except he can't actually punch things. Not in this game, at least. He can in the Sonic Advance games, but not this one, unfortunately, because that would be awesome. But it's the Sega Genesis. Or at least, it's a Sonic game on the Genesis. All of the buttons have to do the same thing. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that was... that was a bad idea. Excuse me, sir. I would appreciate it if you would not hit me in any sort of fashion. Hi. Whee! And then there's this. This is, uh... I, I don't even know why this is, but Knuckles doesn't fight Robotnik, ever. He fights this asshole. It, this is Egg Robo, which is one of the enemies from Sky Sanctuary Zone when you're playing as Sonic. So, I don't... It is explained in... <laughs> the bridge just kind of plopped down on its own. But yeah, this the reason why he fights Egg Robo is explained in Sonic and Knuckles by itself, but not in this one for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure as to the reason why not. Because 
just having him fight Egg Robo and not Robotnik doesn't really make sense. At least not on its own. Whoa, hey. Uh, okay, this is happening. Vroom. But yeah, it's... In Sonic & Knuckles, it is explained that, uh... I think Egg Robo just kind of destroyed his home or something. I, I don't even remember. It's been a long time since I've played just the standalone game and not the combo. Vroom. Whee! Yay for lives. We already have seven lives, and I haven't even died yet. This is already shaping up to be a fantastic playthrough. This is, of course, all going to go down the drain somewhat soon, probably. Ow. That was unfortunate. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Piranha. Get out of here. Liking that Aqua Shield as well. That'll definitely come in handy. Okay, come on. Boing. Vroom. Don't know why I said vroom. He was gliding. That doesn't really make a vroom sound. But yeah, as for, like, getting all the Chaos Emeralds and stuff, I'm going to try to do that, but it's probably not going to happen. Like, I'm not going to be checking every single wall like I did when I played as Sonic. Because... While I do want to show off Knuckles' super forms, it's not really... I'm not going to force myself to do so. I might just show off his and Tails' in uh, just a bonus video, because Tails' super form is actually really badass. And yes, he does only get one, unfortunately, but it's actually rather cool. Uh, okay, that happened. And I finished the stage with 151 rings. That, like, never happens, because that boss is generally a jackass. So, that happened, I guess. Yay for lives. But yeah, um, Knuckles' stages themselves actually differ from Sonic's generally in, uh, like, they, they generally differ a decent amount. Hydro City is mostly the same, but you saw, like, Angel Island was a lot different because we took that one path that Sonic couldn't because he can't exactly go through walls while he's running up them. But Knuckles can just glide into walls to break them, so that's cool. So he can access parts of the stages that Sonic can't, and Hydro City doesn't really have too much of that. Like, there's... Ah, you... Alright. There's a small bit at the end of Act 2 that Knuckles can access. Okay, every single time I play this game, I... Alright then. But yeah, every time I always glide there, and I always run into those stupid spikes, because I'm dumb, and I never learn from my mistakes. But yeah, this, uh, the differences between stage layouts will probably be more prominent next time, because Marble Garden actually has a different boss uh, when you play as Knuckles, and... Yeah, it's actually rather interesting. I do prefer Sonic's boss, because of reasons. I don't... I don't know. I, I always had trouble with Knuckles' version of that boss, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But any malaise, we've got... Um, water... I completely forget what I was about to say. I apologize profusely. A 
another life! You gotta love that. Whoa, okay. Excuse me, Sharkpedos. I would rather you not try and murder my face. Or the rest of me. Just gotta wait for this. Oh, you fucker. In this case, I was talking to Knuckles, because he started... He actually landed before he could hit the stupid Sharkpedo. Also, I'm not even touching any any buttons on the controller at this point. Now I am, because I have to do this. And uh, here is where the stage differs, because Knuckles can just punch through that pillar. That's not even breakable by Sonic, even by spin dashing. It might... it. I don't know, it might be breakable if you spin dash, if there weren't a cutscene when you get right when you get to it. But I, I don't know. We will we will never know. Uh, but here I do remember you wanna climb that wall and then just glide along here. Otherwise you will fall onto one of these ten billion spikes. So that's a thing that you want to avoid. And... oh, hey, boss. Hi. What's up there, eh, Grobo? You, uh, you look like you're having fun there. So, uh, one way this differs from Sonic's version of the boss is that, uh, he doesn't dip down to create the vortexes of doom. He just kind of creates them from where he is. And, uh, also, you can glide off-screen. That, that's a fun time. And I'm amazed that I didn't get hit there. Do, 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 do. But yeah, all of... From what I can remember, all of Knuckles' bosses have some element that make them harder than Sonic's version of the same boss. Just the regular bosses, not the mini-bosses. Like, for example, the Angel Island one shot more fire in this version than in Sonic's. And, like I pointed out earlier, this one uh, doesn't dip down to create the vortexes, like I said. And I think we're almost done. I th I believe that was seven hits. I could be wrong. But we will see shortly. There we go. All right. Still not that hard of a boss. It's just complicated slightly by the fact that Knuckles can't jump very high. But anyways, it next time on Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, we'll be starting Marble Garden Zone. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.